Hey people, Frank Saman here. I'm working on Scorpion today. And uh, finally getting somewhere. Yesterday I finished both chains for the tracks and today I'm working on uh, the last step for the track plates. Let me show you what I got. I got one done. <laughs> Ready to bolt onto the chains. And the chains are done so finally getting somewhere um, actually cramming a couple steps into the final one uh, made a jig this is the last jig I need to make uh, this jig here is for putting on the guides I got it in there oh, got to tune it a little bit There we go. That sits in there. All my guides. I could clamp it in there to make sure they're straight. You know, imagine the ice grips on there so I could weld both sides. So that part's done. The next step would be the cleats. I could jam it in there and I could do the rest of it freehand. Just putting the bolts in, put the nuts on there to hold the bolts in place, center cleat, and the, the pitchforks, I weld in, and boom, I'm done, haha, <laughs> it's a lot of welding though, I don't know how many I'll get done today, but, making progress, I got one done, figured I'd celebrate, make a video. Okay, maybe I'll include a little bit of footage of me doing it. So, to type. Here we go. All the washers welded on here. Back it up. There we go. Seventy-five on one end, which left the metal without the washers, so I'd have some actual chain left over. And then uh let's see if I find the other end. There we go. There's the start of the other one. 75. On that end. Okay. Okay, I get a close look at the jig for making, putting on the guide plates. As usual, I'm dropping stuff. Okay. Uh, start with a piece of angle iron. I was thinking about setting the plate on the inside but this is not 90 degrees this part is on angle iron so I had to work with the outside I set the plate on there to make sure the plate goes into the same spot every time that's what these pieces are for so you got the left and the right these tracks are directional sensitive because I have a little arrow match up the arrow to the arrow on the plate on the jig and then uh, so I have that setting in place in the same spot every time so now I need to start working on the jig for holding the guide in the place 
so this piece of angle iron I made sure it was perfectly square on the part that sits down onto the angle iron and I welded it in place checked it made sure it was somewhat close it's pretty close good enough in other words and then this piece here I welded on to hold the guide in the place and that guide is going to be in the same spot on every plate welded the same way so by me clamping it it is uh, making sure it's staying straight while I'm welding it and it doesn't bend this way or this way the only thing I have to worry about is the plate lifting off of there and I could easily just clamp it down this way too if I feel the need first one I had no problem I don't think I'll have a problem with that part so the next part would be strapping it to the table so it don't move so it doesn't fall over and then that's where this piece came in and I would just welded it to part of the fixture and strapped to the table okay that's it the last jig ha <laughs> all right then the cleats are pretty much just set in place with the bolts with the nuts holding them in place and welded it in so when done all right doesn't rock it looks like it's the guy looks like it's pretty straight you can tell it doesn't have to be perfect it's just got to be the same all the way through I'll probably uh, use the grinder and cut little arrows in there to make sure they go the same direction because the spacing they're not perfect but they are the same so when I put it on it's not one here and then one closer and then one further apart the arrows will ensure that everything will be spaced evenly okay next part will be me actually doing the welding
Okay, I'm going to keep working at it. I'll leave a link down in the description for uh, AT LTF build off for my build thread and uh, check it out. They love visitors and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share the video. Thanks, man. Bye.